hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so in this cell shared in series so the left one uh, not this one right so this uh, left image is the previous cell shader that i implemented yesterday and the right image is uh, after adding some improvements to that cell shader so in here as you can see the shadows in the distance are quite uh, clear compared to the previous shader so that's what i am going to try develop today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so in our current implementation of the shader uh, I notice a little problem here let me show you so now uh, if in this shadow threshold if I keep it as 0.9 you can see almost uh, all the areas of this closer objects that means this grass are kind of dark so if I reduce this to something like 0.5 now you can clearly see the difference the threshold of this shadow area and the light area of this trees mm, trees trunk and also the shadow area is reduced in this near range grass as well so this two uh, two shadow and dark and light area this uh, is good this looks good actually compared to what we see when i put the shadow threshold to 0.9 uh, it may be subjective but i think that's better but if i reduce this threshold to 0.5 now in the distance object uh, you can't see the shadows properly for example this castle wall now you see the shadow in this castle wall is uh, reduced so if i increase this shadow threshold you can see the shadow amount is increased like this in the distance object so for the distance objects it's better if i keep this value higher so what i'm trying to do now is blend in this value like for closer objects i'm going to use a smaller shadow threshold and for the distance object i'm going to use a higher shadow threshold so yeah that's what i'm trying to do all right so let's this is our shell shade material and this is the shadow threshold right and also we have this uh, blend distance and this parameter as well so actually I'm thinking of multiplying mm, this one with this and well, let's add a clamp first I'll yeah and connect here oh wait Input B must be type of float. All right. Well, if I put this one into the set saturation and multiply and clamp, that should be okay. Right now i'll define i'll promote this min and max as parameters 
let's get some room here min shadow threshold max shadow threshold so for this one I'll give the default value 0 0.99 and for this one I'll give 0 0.5 and apply right well let's see now how this behave well I don't think I quite get what I need here so I need the close range to look like this while the long range look like uh, that oh is it working right I think it is working okay is it correct right uh, so let's yeah I think it is working now you can see the dark area and the light area of this tree trunk and also still you can see clearly see the shadows in the distance of this wall as well Right, um, shall we do a comparison between two scenes? Oh. Right, so the left one is the previous shader and the right one is the new shader. So, yeah, as you can see, um, the right one is better in my personal opinion. Right, so here is the final output. And yeah, so I wish to continue uh, this cell shader. I want to do some improvements further improvements uh, to this uh, shell shader in the future episodes as well and when I'm done with that I will revisit the climbing system because I didn't properly finish it I need to finish that uh, just taking a break here and thank you for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club uh, link would be in the description below See you in the next episode. Goodbye.